Hi chat! Welcome to another stream. How are y'all doing today? It is about to be the 18th of December in 2020. We're back for yet another Advent of Code stream. Uh, I do not have things set up, but let me get into the right working directory at the very least. Um, oh my goodness, I never finished committing yesterday. <laughs> Let's do that real quick. Uh, ASC 2020 get status. Get commit dash m day 17 part 2. Need type annotation for marked. How did I not finish this last time? Did I get distracted by chat? That, that would make sense. Uh, from typing import counter marked is a counter of tuple int, 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 int. I'm typing import tuple. Uh, get command. All right, we good. We good, we good. Uh, so, let me say hi to everyone. Got plenty of time. Rollers is here first today, how's it going? I satisfied. Hello, hello. Good to see you. The endless server, as always. How's it going? Roller says, I'm so lucky I am done with work just in time for AOC. Good, good shit. Hey, what's up, Masters 8? Hello, hello. And Vepic Fischl and Aerobots back again as as always. Well, I guess not as always. As as these AOC days have been going. Let's see how well I do off of four hours of sleep. I mean, I only got six because of the damn construction and the car alarm they both went off this morning which was you know wonderful hey what's up yellow shmolo hello hello i'd be lucky to break the top 1k let alone 2k i think you could do it rollers ed winst says i have to write a paper but i'm struggling who knows why oh no god i do not miss running papers in in any way shape or form but also says yesterday was pretty impressive and then you got a little distracted yeah Clearly, if I if I even I forgot to commit and push, uh, I satisfied says, did you see that Twitch released a command line? What? Twitch released a command line today. Uh, front right. Yeah, in the little little teeny patch. Just sniff around. <laughs> So those small little poops. The small little poops? Yeah. Anyway, what we got a pupperoo. We got a pupperoo today. What if the poop was already gone? Well, I don't know. I don't think anyone ate the poop. Well, what if another dog ate the poop? Have thought about Twitch, that? Twitch. What? <laughs> Twitch Cly. What is the Twitch command line? Is it is it good? Is it garbage? What is it? What does it do? Twitch product action. Currently supports the following products. What? What does it do? See how she's not chomping you? Yeah, cause she's tired as fuck. Cause we <laughs> ran ran around. <laughs> okay, it's over. Find your poop. Hey, what's up, Sammy Valis? Hello, hello. Is the Sims there? I mean, we have tofu. <laughs> Unlimited bites! Never trying to rewrite your JavaScript solutions for AOC 2020 to be as minimal as you can humanly possibly. Achieve that's more pain than writing the original solutions. I mean, you might as well just use a minifier, right? Ah, this is the first time the Endless River has seen Tofu on stream. All right, let me get set up so that I can blab at chat for a while while that's going. Pickle Show! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are doing well. Pickle Show. That's an interesting one. Welcome to the Pickle Show. It's it's me, Anthony Writes Code. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Uh, CB-R, day zero, zero, today, 18. Babby part one dot pi, that one is ready-ish to go. Let's put it here. Um, and we need to CD into day 18. Um, what, pi test part two dot pi, and Python part two dot pi, and then FC two to one, yes, yes. And then download input 2020-18. Okay, that's all set. We're good to go. 
Neil Server says, what is a healthy relationship between lines of code and lines of test? Like 50-50 or does it totally depend? Um, I usually... Hmm. For me, it's usually like slightly more tests, like 1.3 to 1 or 1.4 to 1 with more tests than code. Uh, but it really depends on the app. Some apps I don't test very well. But a, a well-tested app, I think, is at least like 1.5 to 1. Um, and Edwin says, what is your app? So we're working on Advent of Code, which is a series of code puzzles that come out uh, twice a day in the month of December. You can watch my video about more information there. Blue Axolotl says, set me a quick question. Do you call it coding or scripting? I actually don't like, well, I don't really like either of those names that much. Uh, I would prefer programming, personally. Um, software engineering might be a little bit of a stretch, but I think, I think I don't know. There's something, something weird about the word coding for me. Um, and I do write scripts, so like, I don't know, scripting, scripting is a thing that happens, but I... I don't, a lot, most of the code that I wrote is not like, I wouldn't consider it scripts. I would consider it like tools and applications uh, more so than scripting. But yeah, I, I like the word programming more more than um, more than either of those words. Um, but welcome to the stream, Blue Axolotl. You've been here before, right? You sound, you sound familiar. Uh, let's see if you have a chat plot. Blue Axolotl. Do you have a chat plot? You do have a chat plot. Oh, oh, you've been here <laughs> one one other day. Um, weird. I think it's bugged. It's not supposed to show it. Oh, there's one up here. I see it. I see it now. You've been here two days. I see it now. Edwin's, how's how's your chat plot looking? I know you've been here before. Three days. Perfect. <laughs> good flat. Good flat zero there. <laughs> That's what happens when there's not too much data, but. Uh, the answer says, I thought my 1,500 lines of test for an 800 line module was totally overkill. I was able to read about three and 300 of them by using more efficient fixtures. Mm. I don't know. I feel like trying to min-max code by drying up tests is actually anti-productive because uh, you end up with tests that are harder to understand. Um, but I don't know. Codephobia, hello. Sorry, finals. No, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Worry about it. I mean, you're worrying about your chat plot. Have you have you seen Juice's chat plot? Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Juice's chat plot is is, is, is taking a turn. <clears throat> I don't know. You've you've been you've been you've been getting big numbers recently, so I don't. Know. Bullshit. I don't worry about you might survive into into February. Did you make the chat plot thing? Yes, it is part of my chat plot. Um. It knows. It looks at some history that I've recorded locally for, um, for users, and I fixed the chat plot. <laughs> oh, um, I think the endless server was working on this. Um, I want to show you what my crappy SVG looks like. Um, since I've been working on this a little bit, hit reset, hard origin, whip, and. Make SVG data this to outside SVG and then Firefox t.html. So this is this is what I've been working on to try and show that pre-commit is, is zoom zoom fast. Uh, I'm not you know completely done with it, but um, this is kind of kind of the start, kind of where I've been uh, where I'm going with it. It's actually really funny if you. Oops, um, if you include GitLab in this, it's it's really really messed up. Um, this is this is what it looks like with GitLab included. <laughs> normal, normal, normal. <laughs> three three minutes later. Um, but anyway, that's uh that's what that's what I'm been 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 working on today a little bit. Um, but anyway, bar chart. Um, <clears throat> Shinobe still broken. Black Slottle says, I see what you used to make it. It's really cool. Yeah, quick chart's pretty, pretty nice. Um, yeah, I didn't use, I didn't make quick chart myself. I, I did that instead. GitHub desktop represent, I actually don't have GitHub desktop. You use GitHub desktop though, don't you? 
on your other computer? Oh, that's good for Windows. I'm confused. Yeah. Why are you giving me this look? You know, this stuff is like the GUI for using Yeah, I know, I know. I just confused it with GitHub for Windows. Get, get for Windows. Get, Windows. Sorry, get for Windows. I'm just confused. Ignore me. Okay. Bar chart smaller is better. It never made sense to me. Well, I mean, I'm going to put a little bit of text that's like seconds smaller. Smaller is faster. Kind of dealio. From future import braces. Indeed, yellow small. Prints out not a chance, if I recall correctly. Um, but there is actually a hack that makes, makes an encoding cookie that makes braces work in Python, which I think is hilarious. Um, but it was kind of buggy, so I haven't looked at it in a while. I haven't, I didn't try and fix it either, but it is a thing. I know it's a thing. Three minutes left. Oh my God. <laughs> um, over here. Um, also, hello, Drunk Time Lord. Good to see you. Is it maze day yet? I remember 2019 day 18 was a disgusting maze problem. Wasn't that... Wasn't Oh, it wasn't an int code problem, because it would have been an odd one if it was an int code problem. You should make a graph that shows how much time is saved. Hmm. Yeah, but that seems kind of... fudgy. I don't know. Such heresy, please show us the ways I need my braces. <laughs> right? Uh, Dragon Slayer, do you not have a color? Where are you? Oh yeah, you don't have a color. You get a, a random assigned one. You don't have a color. Why don't you have a color? Pick a color! <clears throat> are you working on your day 11? Uh -uh. I also haven't worked on it. Yeah, so now you're trying to relearn how your code works. I mean, I know my code works, so what's wrong? Ah, uh, indeed, indeed. Oh, text language. What is the text language? It just says slideshow. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a picture of my food order. <laughs> it's a picture of my door. Oh boy, I was just like, what is this? Um... Let's see. Talent deficient. Hello, hello. 18 last year was a maze. Hmm. Meeting, praying. Good luck, have fun. Well, good luck to you as well, Air Bounce. Good to see you as always. Also, my longest solution by lines of code last year. Um. Day star slash start at pi. Sort dash rn. Who is our long boy? Day 17 is slightly longer than my day 18. Uh, but then again, that was because it was in, it was in code and I copied and pasted the encode every, every single time. So big, big ones for int code days. Um, but any, any hooser. Um, what will there be for 1 million babbies? I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> I have no idea. JL says, are you going to be the first to solve this today? No, I'm never the first. I'm, I'm hoping I get points, though. We'll see. We'll see. This guy writes code. How's it going, Milky? Pow! <clears throat> I used a library for code. Yeah, I just mostly copy and pasted mine each time, um, which worked all right. Probably spent more time last December improving my ant code library than I did my day job. <laughs> Yikes! All right, reminder, I'm going to be ignoring chat during solve, uh, so use bang today to let people know, or bang AOC to let them know what's going on. Uh, but good luck to everyone trying the puzzles today. And here we go. Maze, 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 maze. No, it's, no, it's a number problem. Uh, the operators have the same precedence are evaluated left to right regardless of the order in which they appear. Okay, so cool. Parentheses can override this ordering. Nice. It is an evaluation. Evaluate the expression on each line of framework. What is the sum of the resulting values? Oh boy, this is going to be a fun one. Um, hmm, how do we want to do this? Uh, we can parse this as Python and then... <laughs> um, they have the same operator presence, so... Okay. Let's get the example. 
Uh, uh, this is input one, and this was what value? 71? Let's do another one here as well. Someone's probably just gonna have an automatic solution to this, which is, you know, a thing, I guess. Let's do this one here. And that one is 26, yeah. Okay, so how can we do this? Uh, I think we can actually parse forward and anytime we enter a parenthesis, we need to compute its value and keep the left hand side there while we compute it. Yeah, I think that will work. Um, for line in s dot split line, split lines. Um, uh, for part in or part in line dot split, uh, or I guess parts plus line dot split. Um, and I guess you could start with a parenthesis. So, hmm. Uh, n equals zero. We kind of want to stack, maybe? Hmm. How do we want to do this? So, for part in part, in, in line dot split, print stack equals zero. Um, actually, you probably want a list. If part dot starts with this, uh, Let's just do the first thing. If part dot is digit, then oh, but we want to be able to move forward. I equals zero while I less than len. Len parts. And then at the end we need to do, let's see, if if part dot is digit. Uh, then we know we're not in an operator. This is kind of our starting case. Then uh, then stack dot append int part uh, i plus equals one. Uh, elif we get an operator. Hmm. The other idea we do is we continually parse out the parentheses and then we just run the end part. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we can do that. Let's do that. Um... Import re. Mm, paren r equals re dot compile a parenthesis followed by not a parenthesis character since we know they're balanced and we can apply them inward outward to a parenthesis and so while paren re dot search line line equals uh, paren re dot sub, and this can take a function, so, uh, compute part and line. Sure, we'll make a return a string. And this is parts equals equals s dot split. Oh, this is gonna work great. Uh, ret equals int parts 
Oh, this is actually going to be Magister. There's no parentheses in this, so we can just grab parts two at a time. Um, how do we do that? 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 Uh, wild parts op equals parts. Op equals parts i. Well, equals and parts i plus one and then plus equals two. And if of equals plus and equals and plus equals val. What operators do we have? And times equals val. I only see pluses and times is here. Yeah, let's assume we only have those. Else raise assertion error and of bell. Okay. Total equals zero. Uh, total plus equals compute part line. Turn total. How did we get the string none? <laughs> oh, I forgot to return the value. Invalid literal for base 10, 3. How did we possibly get to that? <laughs> exactly one point. <laughs> uh. Oh, now we have to do precedence, so my entire uh, my entire idea doesn't work. Uh. Okay. We can still we can still use my parentheses thing though. So we need to now have a stack of things here. Um, actually, we know we only have numbers here, so we can actually do multiplication first and substitute values out, uh, or plus first. Add r equals r dot compile uh, back d plus a plus and then back d plus, and these can be capture groups. Um, while add re dot search s equals add re dot sub place add s.
Yes, look at all those points! <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. This is a fun problem. My solution is maybe a little hacky. Um, I actually really like my solution, but it's super hacky. <laughs> it's it's abuse regex to win. <laughs> oh my god, I really like this one, Eric. Okay, let me say hi to everyone. And um, that was a pretty fast solve. Oh, this means I got more points than last year. Oh, actually, let me see if T T beat me. Yeah, get fucked, T T. T. <laughs> um, but wait, I think I have more more points this year than last year now. Three thirty one versus two ninety eight. We're beating last year. Oh man, that was so good. I made up so much time on part two also. I love it. Okay, let me say hi to everybody. <clears throat> Use eval. Time matters, security doesn't. I always forget to put system shutdown now in the inputs so, so people are likely not to eval drat. Yeah, that would have been so funny, Eric. <laughs> um, wait, is there a post about this? I satisfied? Um... I'm so confused. Oh, retired competitive programmer. <laughs> I see now. <clears throat> That's great. Hey, what's up, the Clash crew? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Apparently, if you tap your throat at the right time, you can sound like GLaDOS. Mm. The car alarm again. Yeah, it did go off again. <laughs> yeah, I don't have RTX on. Uh, the thing is, RTX distorts my voice a lot when I get excited, so... I don't use it as much as that. And I use is instead of equals equals for strings, is it 100% reliable? No, that it's unbe undefined behavior. It may work sometimes in C Python, but in general, it's not gonna work. The reason it does sometimes work is string and turning. Um, hey, what's up, Shaz? Hello, hello. What is the difference between using match i and match.group i? Nothing, they are exactly the same. The former is a shortcut uh, that was added in Python 3. Regex is hacks, yeah. You're a silly problem. Hey, what's up, Vettel? Oh my god, I love... I'm so sad that I didn't get HaHa ha Cat. Oh, wait, did I get HaHa ha Cat? I don't think I got HaHa... Ha... I didn't get HaHa ha Cat. I'm so sad. That has got to be one of my favorite Twitch emotes ever. Maybe I can get Juice to enable it for me. Hey, Juice! Mal! I think she's outside with Tofu. <clears throat> um... Just putting random Python stuff in chat. Can you, like, not do that? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, the MOTD is still MOTD. Oh, aneurysm, you have the haha -ha cat, too. Oh, I'm so jelly. <clears throat> yeah, is the Clash crew a bot? Because it very much seems like a bot. Oh, I'm so I'm so sad I didn't get the, the, bungo, the bungo cat emote. I love bungo cats so much. Okay, let's commit this solution. Um, I actually lost some time adding typing here, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, but I, I, I really like this this problem. Day 18, and we're going to actually commit today instead of yesterday. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is our fast one. Cream D. Day 18 slash input dot text. Day 18. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna do my like video for this other than like, <laughs> I found a cute trick with regex. <laughs> I don't know how I would do this without using regex. Oh, I just added in it twice. Day 18 input. Uh, get commit dash m day 18 part one. Hooks will just fix it for me, which is great. Day 18, part two. One, two, three. <laughs> Shazarod. Okay, listen, now don't do it this way. <laughs> yeah. My part two is much slower because of um, there's a lot more calls that happen here. Yeah, I don't know how I would do this otherwise. Um, day 18, input.txt. Wait, this might mean that I passed t, t in the. Private leaderboard. I wonder what he's doing right now. 
Let's see, private leaderboard of you. So I'm temporarily on top. Um, I got the first star. But it'll, it'll probably leapfrog me soon after this. Uh, Siren Lemonjack says I'm rank 98 on the... Oh, you're on the overall leaderboard? Yo, really? Oh, you mean today's leaderboard for 18? What is it? What is your name? Are you Pavel? Or sorry, are you Henry? Nice, congrats. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm hundred for part one, and I did way better on part two. Where's where's the me for part two? Where's my face? There it is. Fifty fifth. See how many seconds I could have shaved off to do better here. I had a reset, so I probably could have saved about 10 seconds, so I'm, I don't know, not that many points. Destroyer3567, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, but congrats, that's awesome. There's a blog called Seriously Don't Use This Code, which shows nifty Python hacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, Um, They DM'd me on Twitter the other day to say that they liked my YouTube videos, which I was, I was like, cool. <laughs> nice, sounds good. Uh, Vettel says, on the old, let me make a one-liner in Python for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Wait, I don't really have any... There's no one-liners in here. Uh, I think this is all, you know, pretty reasonably straightforward. <laughs> what do you mean, no reason? Writing one-liners in Python is my passion. <laughs> ah, the Russian alphabet, I see. It's really... Uh, but anyway... Get and dot, which I usually don't like to do. Of course, dash m requires. See, I do... does anyone know the answer to this? Um, whenever error message, a lot of error messages in POSIX tools use a backtick for the first character and then a single quote for the second character. Does anyone know why this happens? I've always wondered, and it's fucking impossible to Google. Um, I'm hoping someone in chat knows, because I don't. Uh, day 18, part 2. I wonder how other people did this. I'm probably gonna... I haven't looked at any of the solutions on the reddits this year, but I might look at this as well. Eric said, it's to try to be an opening closing pair of smart apostrophes. Hmm, I see. <laughs> no command, MFTD. Possible commands are all tip 4. I didn't even see you set that, but it's so good. I love it. Uh, <laughs> what's a smart apostrophe? You know, product manager quotes. Um, Microsoft Word curly quotes. Oh, it's um, rsquo.net, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, which gives you the the curly the curly quote character. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that thing. Okay, um, I don't know. This is this is a really short stream, uh, because I, I don't think I'm gonna try this one in SQLite. Implementing this in SQLite seems hard, uh, partially because SQLite does not have regular expressions. Well, doing it the same way as I did it here is, is gonna be hard in SQLite. I could fold it into columns. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. Probably not. And uh, honestly, I have to catch up on sleep. So, um, yeah. Let me, let me catch up in chat, and then we'll do my spiel, and then we'll find someone else who's streaming this. Uh, JS seems to be quite efficient when it comes to regexes and splitting the strings. Everything else is more convoluted. No one your leaderboard is mostly Python and Ruby people. <laughs> and it's a neck lyric. Hello, hello. Um... That was quite a rush. Yeah, congrats on getting on the leaderboard, Siberian Loverjack. That's awesome. Smarter tra apostrophes were added to C++, and they're almost always better than regular apostrophes. Wait, what? Human server says, I'd like to report a bug. Every time I run your MOT command, my browser crashes. Fix this ASAP. I'm at a multi-million dollar company. I want you to fix this for free right now. <laughs> it's funny, that last sentence. I get that all the time, maintaining open source libraries. It's a goddamn mess. Um, Nack Lyric, hello, goodbye. Doug Bab says, I missed the fun today. Yeah, I actually, my solution I really, really like. 
Uh, but it's really, really, it's, it's a hack. It's a doozy. So I use two regular expressions to first uh, parse by parentheses and then parse by plus for part two. Um, and so I, you know, do the operator precedence first and then I have like a compute function which just kind of loops over stuff in here. Um, and I got a ton of points today. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Anyway, let me do my little spiel. So I'm gonna be streaming every day for Advent of Code. So stop by again tomorrow for the same, the same jazz. Uh, I upload my previous content to YouTube. You can check that out at youtube.com slash Anthony Rance Code, uh, where you can get previous streams. I've also been explaining Advent of Code solutions and I have daily educational videos. I announce my streams in two places. One of them is Twitter, twitter.com slash code with Anthony. Um, I don't announce my AOC streams though, so check those out on the Discord. Let me get you those links. And 24 hour stream, yes, there's a 24 hour stream on Saturday. It's gonna start at the same normal time, um, but we're gonna go till midnight. That way we cover Advent of Code as well. So stop by on Saturday the 19th for a big old 12 hour stream. Uh, but thank you all for stopping by and let's go find someone to raid.